Is this thing on? Hello, hello, everyone. Izzy here, and I'm back for some more Fall of Porcupine. Um, I'm not sure anymore where I left off last time, anyway, so. Um, <laughs> uh, I vaguely remember somebody dying. That's gonna be a fun thing to start off. But hi, how are you guys doing? I hope everyone's been having a nice week. Not too much uh, heavy work and all that shit. You know, just the normal amount. I've been uh, trying to do some new things. Set up some new things for myself for the future. And uh, who knows, uh, I'll actually talk about more precisely soon-ish. Uh, once I have it more set up and, uh, you know, more the way I want it. But for now, I'm gonna stick with streaming and uh, we still have Fall of Porcupine to finish. So I was like, well, we've done the whole uh, Steam Next Fest last week. It was a lot of fun. The demos I played, I really enjoyed. But I do want to see how this game ends and uh, maybe you guys do too. So uh, I decided F it. Let's just go live again, finish it live on stream, I hope. I have no clue how long this game is. Oh, I did look it up, but I know myself and I'm always way slower than any of those. So, that's according to some of the things I looked up. I should already have finished the game. Um, let's see. Let's uh, make you guys see what I'm seeing. There we go! Full of porcupine. Let's load it up and uh, see where we were at. So, uh, we play as Finley, for those who do not know. A little pigeon who works at a hospital. His internship and uh, a patient just died on his shift. And he went to the funeral, he got yelled at, and everybody blames the hospital for everything that's going wrong basically over there. And this is basically the next day waking up in a world that may or may not like us. We do not know. Someone threw snowballs at my window. I hope it was my old houseplant back for revenge. So the whole game so far has uh, taken place during the fall. And it's just turned over a leaf to winter. So yeah, let's uh, see what happens. The walls are still magical, apparently. I love how we got like a nice warm coat and everything, but we're still barefoot. Kind of not logical, but eh, well, uh, it's a pigeon, so I'm guessing uh, he can uh, handle the cold feet. Also, I loved how the porcupine turned into a full porcupine now. Hiya, mister. How are you doing? Hey, good morning. I've had better, let me tell you. I was just resting my eyes, letting my soul relax for a while. I had a nice dream just starting up about a nice hot fondue. Ooh, fondue. I do like myself some cheese. Then all of a sudden, Stampede! This huge crowd of people came storming by. No consideration for my beauty sleep. They looked angry. Hey, day! Really? Someone threw snowballs at my window this morning. Maybe it was the same people. Why were they angry? How should I know? They were headed for the old town. Weird, I'll keep my eyes open. How are you doing, Day? Good idea, take care, buddy. Hope you're doing okay. Oh, and it's uh, they're right so far. <laughs> Planning and doing something special coming days, like you're saying so far. Uh, let's wait for the bus. I'm gonna be lazy. I have a feeling they weren't just going to Old Town, but probably to the hospital. Because of everything that's uh, been happening. And I think my instinct was right, because I hear a crowd. a lot of people here. 
Maybe th I thought there would be gifts. Chocolate. But actually everyone's just angry. I don't like it. Not really gonna be out of town for the weekend, that's about it. Yeah, out of town can be fun too. Of course, depends a bit on the reasoning behind it. How much more money are you gonna squeeze from us? Oh god, people are. Did you work at the hospital too? I sure do, and it's been far too long. I can't all do all this anymore. I've been slaving away for years. No private life, no downtime. I want to make my voice heard. And these people have valid points. Why don't you join us? We could really make a difference here. <sighs> that dog is such an idiot. For a bit of context, the dog on the right, his wife died at the hospital after being sick. And ever since he's blaming the hospital for a whole bunch of shit, um, especially for making people sick. And um, now the mother of the beloved town's innkeeper, you could call him, I guess, tavern owner, has died at the hospital as well, while Finley was on shift, actually. Finley was the last person to be there with her. So at the funeral, because some of them were actually there, this stupid dog started riling up the crowd against them and saying that it's all St. Ursula's fault at the hospital and uh, without the hospital they'd be better off. Well, I understand feeling like the hospital let you down when somebody died there. I don't think they'd be better off without a hospital because I mean, a hospital does do a lot more good than bad when it comes to helping people. I'm not saying they're all good because there's a lot of shit going on in a lot of hospitals that I will not say I agree with, and that's then mainly because of um, things like uh, the way they push certain medications over others, and also the way they fund certain medication and and the research to new uh, medication and new treatments over certain others, uh, mainly from a monetary point of view. But at the same time, I don't think hospitals are all evil. I don't like going there myself. I've been there too many times for bad things, as in people dying. So I don't like them either, but I, I wouldn't go as far as the dog is going. Even though, yeah, there is a lot of people that think the dog that 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 the hospitals are to blame for things. <sighs> How many of you have suffered here? How many of you have emptied your pockets into their coffers? The fees go up every month, but the quality of the treatments gets worse and worse. The staff are overworked, and the buildings falling apart. Big. Will we keep on accepting this? Will we keep on sacrificing our loved ones to this hospital? No! Absolutely not! That frog looks so derpy. What? What's this about? Ah, there's our specialist! What are your plans for the day, con artist? Let me... Let me pass, Ralph. Go ahead. I'm sure you've got plenty of corrupt shenanigans to be dealing with. We'll just see how many more lives you take before someone stops you. That's right, get lost! Down with St. Ursula's! Down with St. Ursula's! <sighs> grief can do weird things with people. And it's definitely grief that is affecting Ralph here. And making him think the way he does. Oh, magic wall! Ha <laughs> ha! Hi! Ingrid, have you seen the people out there? Oh, uh, sure. Bit of an overreaction, if you ask me. Do you think we should call the police or something? Don't worry about it, Kit. This isn't the first time we've had angry f folks show up at our door. I'm sure the protest has been cleared with the authorities. So right now, there isn't much we can do. Ralph's always sticking his nose in where it doesn't belong. But when he gets an idea in his head, he doesn't let it go easily. I was just gonna call him bullheaded, and he's a bulldog, so you know. 
And her saying, he doesn't let go easily. Yeah, that's a very much a dog trait as well. Oh, you're not worried? There's even a nurse in the crowd. Hmm, no, not really. Criticism comes with the territory. After all, no one who comes here leaves feeling amazingly refreshed and rejuvenated. At best, they'll just feel normal again. Grease made me think of dumb shit, but it's not made me think hospital or hospital. Yeah, but... Yeah. Same for me. I still don't like going there, but same. But I can see how it can make people look for a scapegoat. And if the person that died was sick and was at a hospital when they died, the first thing that people might think of to blame are indeed the doctors in the hospital. So I can see where it comes from. If they don't, well, that's when certain kinds of people get angry. As long as they don't actually charge inside the hospital, it's all good. Dr. Theobald's already on the case. By the way, he was ask asking after you this morning. Seems like every day he wants something from you now, huh? Guess he likes you. But you can go straight up on up to your ward. That's where he is right now anyways. So our ward was on the third floor. Let's be lazy, take the elevator. Yes. Grief can do weird stuff with people. Everybody deals with it in their very own way. And I kind of like the fact that this game tries to show it in a light that makes it slightly easier to potentially talk about it. It's not like on the nose about it. It's just a theme that runs through it. And yeah. Seems your whole fan club is here today, Finlay. And not just that, Dr. Theobald's waiting for you too. You're a popular doctor today. Have you seen Dr. Theobald around? I certainly have. He's in our break room, which is why I'm keeping out of there right now. We've been clashing on a few matters lately. As such, I don't have much desire for small talk. I heard he wants to talk to me. Of course he does. Please keep it brief. We have work to do. Alright. Grief is a weird thing. Uh, I just ran past. Oops. Hello there, Dr. Theobald. Dr. Theobald, have you heard about the people in front of the building? Of course. But first, I have a question for you. Did you go to Mrs. Takama's funeral service? Yes, and I think it helped me. Thanks for the tip. I am afraid I'm partly to blame for the protest, though. What do you mean by that? Well, the funeral seemed quite normal at first. But then they started saying it was my fault Irma died. I didn't know what to do. Hmm. You know, there's one thing you unfortunately need to be aware of working here. When you work at a hospital, problems become part of your daily routine. Generally speaking, someone comes to us with a problem. Sometimes the problem can be fixed. But sometimes, however unfortunately, it cannot. We don't have secret superpowers. All we can do is make people feel like they were before. That is our business, day in, day out. When we succeed, we are rarely re rewarded with positive words or deeds. Yet, if we fail, a negative response is never far away. That's the way it is, sadly. And our profession is far from unique in that regard. I'm sure you're familiar with the phenomenon yourself. We don't get chance to provide a, diagno provide a diagnosis until something's already not behaving as it should. So what can we do to get these people to calm down? Don't worry about it, please. I will not allow my staff to be attacked or harassed. I'll talk to the protesters and sort things out. And what can I do? Do your help. Do, do your job. Help those who need help. Solve as many problems as possible, even though not all of them will be solvable. Okay. I wish you the best of luck. 
Some wise words in there from uh, Mr. Chicken. Because, yeah. What is... <laughs> oh, shut me. You didn't hear that. Nothing happened. Everything's perfectly fine, perfectly normal. Hi, Theobald. You're a slow chicken. Well, I imagine you have questions. I'm sure you want to know how I feel about all this. Whether I'm worried about that little protest down there. Uh, let's both do ourselves a favor and skip that part of the conversation. Please get started with your assignments for today. We'll talk later. All right. But what Dr. Theobald there said is kind of true, though. Um, doctors do have a very unthankful job where people expect them to fix things for them that are not always fixable or not fixable anymore. And if they then fail, it's their fault. If they do succeed in fixing stuff, yeah, it's their job to fix it, so why should you thank them? Um, yeah, it's weird. I actually had a talk this week again for some with somebody for the last time who has been helping me out for the past couple of months. Getting my thoughts sorted on school and my internship and everything. And even though it's her job to help me with those things... I did end up thanking her because I think it's very important we think thank each other when we help each other. Anyway, to give more context as to what I'm doing for Game Blast, I'm purely going to be fighting the final boss and the DLC super boss. Right! And how long is that gonna take you? And in the meantime, I'm going to be helping uh, an owl uh, and, and two other critters with hopefully healing them up. But, yeah. Are those bosses in that game that difficult that you think it's going to take so long? Hiya, Mrs. Owl. What's all that racket out there? Just an angry mob of people dissatisfied with our work. What do they know? They don't have the first clue how difficult our work even is, do they? This owl is actually somebody that also works at the hospital. How are you doing today? Yeah, tell me. That's what you're here for, isn't it? That's why you're here, isn't it? Alright then. So, minigames again. Yay! So we need to get... Okay, that's too much. That's too... So we need to get less purple. We need to get more blue, uh, more yellow. Let me think. I need to get that on. That's those done. Now we need that one, I think. That looks all good, and that's four pills, so that should be full score. Every two or three hours, maybe more. The super boss in total has about 120,000. More than 120,000 HP, and the final boss is in total over 60k. Well, 60k ain't that much, is it? Well, it does depend on how much damage you do. But those are rookie numbers. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. I'm so used to boss fights in World of Warcraft where they have like a couple of million, if not billion, health. So that sounds very low, but then I'm guessing the damage you're doing ain't that high for a hit. Your liver readings are improving. Good. But I'm afraid you'll need to stay with us for a few more days. Well, it hasn't killed me yet. That's why you've still got the pleasure of treating me. Thank goodness for that. Don't let it get to your head. 
I know what the situation is in this hospital. Even I need to put up with an apprentice doctor. It's a turn based JRPG after all. Of course, the HP are rookie numbers compared to a. Yeah, I know. That's why I said it as well. I was like, wait, what? No, wait. It's a totally different kind of game than the numbers that I'm used to from the games that I play. Because, yeah, most of the numbers I'm used to is WoW or Diablo or, you know, those type of uh, RPGs, which tend to have quite big numbers for no reason. I have not forgotten my duty to teach the next generation. So go ahead, learn something. Oh, that's our owl friend uh, helped out in uh, our first task of the day. Finished with an A. Yay. Because, yeah, he's an apprentice doctor, so he gets points for everything he does. Hey, yeah, buddy. So we meet again. Leonora, to what do I do pleasure? It's my lungs. The weather is doing a number on me right now. I need regular checkups. And I have an artificial heart valve. Then there's the severe hypoxia. Wait, you're saying your blood isn't being supplied with enough oxygen? Exactly. I get by, but I'd feel better if someone gave me a once over. Sure, allow me. Should be fine, you should be doing roughly under 1k damage when fully buffed, and they are really debuffed, but keeping them be debuffed is gonna take some work. Yeah, okay. I'm guessing you have to keep them de debuffed so you don't get one hit? Uh. Ah! I really suck at this puzzle. <laughs> Good god, that was horrible. My hands are not properly coordinated for that. Because while one has to press up, the other one has to press down, and vice versa, and I just... Let's forget about that one. Your lungs are fine. Your heart too. Didn't know you could hear a heart valve. <laughs> yes. Not a bad party trick, huh? Ingrid downstairs can write you a prescription for your medication. Great, that's what I call fast service. By the way, things are a little crazy around here right now. Be careful when you head out the door. Yeah, I noticed, yeah. Basically, you're not afraid of the main character dying in the fight, it's you're, mo you're more afraid of your demons. And yet you're gonna allow people to mess with your demons? With the incentive you're setting? Interesting choice. Not gonna go for the easy way out. Hehehehe. <laughs> Hey, that's what people have to see. People struggling. So far, I'm only certain about one game that I'll be streaming for Game Blast, um, which is going to be Call of the Lamb, which already has a Twitch integration in it, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be using that one because that one is basically free to use. I kind of do want to, you know, incentivize people a little bit. To donate to the awesome organization that has special effect. So I'm still looking at how I'm going to do that. Or maybe the combination of the two. If that's even possible. And then the second game I'm not sure yet. I'm still hoping that I might be able to convince Fed to also get Sea of Thieves. So maybe we can get a crew going to sail the high seas. But so far uh, that's uh, not happening. Unfortunately. But we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to streaming again for Game Blast because Special Effect is such an amazing organization. Okay, let's see. Hello, Mr. Doctor. Guess what? My tummy aches, Don. 
and my mom's coming to pick me up today. Great, I'm really glad to hear that. Shall I give you one last checkup before you go home then? I don't have great patients like you here very often, so I need to make the most of it. <laughs> this kiddo is too adorable. So we are looking for a vein that is closest to the skin as we can. I think it might be that little one over there. It's over there. Kiddo, stop shaking so much. Um. Oh, wrong button. That was horrible. I still got a B for it. Yay! Because I hit the spot. I'm doing horrible today at these minute puzzles. Oh, you've got just about the healthiest tummy I've seen all week. <laughs> My colleague gave your mom a letter for your pediatrician later. Now, you need to be careful what you eat in future, okay? Can you promise me you'll do that? Yes. Dr. Jerda said the same thing, that I should listen to you. And you know what? What? She says you're a good doctor. Really? Yes, because she made my tummy ache go away. And she says she made her tummy ache go away too. But you know what else? No, what? Dr. Jerda is a good doctor too, because she made my homesickness go away every night. <laughs> You're right there, Emma. My colleague will take you down to see your mom in a minute, okay? Take care, Emma. Bye. That's our tasks done for today, and we got an A, a B, and a C, so this is going to be horrible. <laughs> but hey, we did it! I have a lot on my mind right now. Let me take a quick look at your results. Well, we still got a smiley face with our B, so I guess that's alright. I understand all too well that you're under a lot of pressure right now. Nevertheless, your performance is solid. There's hope for you yet. Yeah. I have some organizational tasks to deal with now. Have a nice evening. Take care of yourself. Do you think the protesters are still outside? I expect Dr. Theobald's dealing with that. Don't worry so much, Finley. These kinds of things can weigh you down, but it'll all blow over in a few days. You've got the day off tomorrow. Sleep in late? Time off is precious. Enjoy it. Okay. Let's be less lazy this time and take the stairs. Uh, I almost went down to the basement. We had one puzzle at the beginning in the basement that was really fun to do, and it seems like that was the only time ever we'll get to do that one, which is kind of sad. Better not go out there, kid. What? Why? Protest still going strong. I've called the police already. But they say there's nothing they can do. Yeah, right. Your colleague thought better of it just now, too. I think she had tears in her eyes. I wanted to say something, but she turned back inside and ran right past me. You mean Mia? Where did she go? Oh no, back upstairs, I think. Dr. Theobald wasn't he meant to talk to the protesters? Don't know anything about that either. I haven't seen him at any rate. He probably got held up by his luxury vending machine again. Okay, I'm gonna go check on him. You do what you need to do, kid. We can't change what's going on out there right now anyways. Make yourself a coffee and wait for it all to blow over. That's what I say. 
so I believe Theobald has his office on the first floor. So I guess that's our first stop. Get away. Okay. That's a vending machine. Let's see what's office. Let's see what he has to say for himself. Dr. Theobald, are you here? Looking at your demon stock, you can already tell that people are going to have a field day with the ability to swap around your demons. You have that many? Dr. Theobald? Where did he go? Looks like he was here not long ago. Maybe there was an emergency? The shelf looks the same as always. Everything's still where it was this morning. Looks like Dr. Theobald's just vanished into thin air. Maybe he fell through a rift in time and Really, a rift in time and space. He could be living in another dimension right now. A world where pizza can cure cancer. Good God. No. <laughs> Less so I have many, and more so that I have a lot of demons below level 90. Oh. Yeah, that's, that, 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 that could uh, change things a bit. So, Finley, we meet again. Does the boss have time right now? I need to talk to him. Oh, Dr. Theobald's not here. His office is empty. What? Strange. I mean, Theobald usually leaves the door to his office open, but only when he's actually in it. Have you seen him around today? Nope. That's why I'm here. The people in the ward can't sleep with all that commotion outside. I was going to ask Dr. Theobald for help. Last resort, before I go out there and kick some butt myself. No, you should have a salamander at level 44. And what's your main character's level and the level of the bosses? I spoke to him too this morning. He assured me he was going to smooth the situation over. Well, guess that didn't happen, huh? I just bumped into Mia too. She was pretty upset, poor thing. Mia? What's wrong with her? No idea. I called after her, but she ignored me. She just said that Mr. Arndus was back. Mr. Arndus? Yeah. You remember that old geezer, right? Why is he back? Always with the questions. Grandpa was sent to the best rehab money can buy at our expense. And he's not back here two minutes before he goes on and poisons himself. Probably thought his wood oil was a bottle of gin. Is he? Of course not. What is it with you and the drama? Which way did she run? Upstairs, Arnos is on the fourth floor. If I had to guess, I'd say she's up there. I'll go take a look. Alright, guess I'll hunt down the boss. Thank you, Sandra. No problem. Yeah, no, so Nanashi is level 105, super boss is level 128, and final boss is level 100. Yeah, so that demon at level 44 would be it. Good to know. <laughs> okay, let's go up to the fourth floor. That was the fifth floor that was the broken one. 
let's see if we can find Mia and Mr. Arnus. Mr. Arnus is from all the way in the beginning of the game, where we found him on the fifth floor, and then we got knocked over. Um, let's see if we can find where we need to go this way, or if I need to go talk to people. Both are definitely a possibility. There's people we can talk to. There's the break room. There's Mia. Oh, I'm Mr. Arnus. Mr. Arnus, can you listen to me for a moment, please? Welcome. I don't have to put up with this. I already told you I didn't steal any blueberry pudding. And why didn't I get a pickle with my dinner today? Mr. Arnus, please, I need your help. Why does everyone keep asking for my help? I just want to be left alone, damn it. There are all these people out there anyways. Clear off, you're not getting my money. Mr. Arnus. Yeah. Finley, there you are. What's going on here? I want to do something. I have to do something. What happened? Why are you talking to Mr. Arnus? I was just on my way home. Those people, they're so angry. They called me names and threw things at me. I can't go on like this anymore. I'm here to help people, aren't I? Why are they getting on my back for that? I know, Mia, I know. Last time Mr. Arnis was here, he was barely responsive. I was hoping to ask him about the night of your accident. Maybe he knows something. That's not a bad idea. Mr. Arnis? Can I ask you something? What is it now? Should be fine, and Ashley's magic set is 542, so magic skills should do enough damage to hold out long enough. Yeah, but you need to hold out long enough, as in you need to have enough health as well. Or don't get hit. That works too. You. Oh, Arnus is recognizing Finley, isn't he? Don't I know you, Sonny boy? Yes, we've met before. You were, you were at this hospital a little. You were at this hospital a little while ago, last fall. You had an accident. Do you remember? I um. Yes, I know your voice. What happened exactly? Tell me. Well, we were looking for you. We think the broken elevator took us both to a disused fort. I found you there and you were injured. Oh, that was you? I was just trying to get back to my room. I don't know how I ended up in that place. What do you remember about it? Not much. I'm not as young as I was. I was looking for my room. The hallway was completely dark, but... Someone had left a desk lamp on. There was a bed, covered in folders and paperwork. And then? Then I heard your voice. Not the most pleasant way to wake up, well. Gee, thanks, dude. And that's not even mentioning the headache. Is that all you can remember? Oh, after that, I was back in this blasted hospital. My time at that rehab place was worth it, though. I've not had a beet lasagna that delicious since I was a kid. Okay, thank you, Miss Arnus. You've been of great help. What does it mean? Uh, with the equipment you have, it should be fine. Her HP is 921, so you have plenty of survivability. That seems very, very little health to take on a boss with that much health, but... If you say so, <laughs> I never played those games. They, JRPGs in general are not really my thing. I've played a few, but yeah. Oh, you remember the desk, Mia. That bed I saw on the fifth floor with the documents on it? Carl said there was nothing there. But Mr. Arndis saw it too. Exactly. So 
Oh, what now? We need to let Carl know. Maybe he'll know what to do with his information. Hey, Carl, what are you up to? Wait, do you have a hidden camera in my apartment? I was just about to call you. Well, things are starting to get out of hand here. Me and I want to do something about it. What a coincidence. I was thinking exactly the same thing. Come on over. I've already got an idea. Wait, have you ever been to my place before? Nope. I live on the high street next to the bakery. Got it. We're on the way. Okay. Let's go find our friend Carl. Who got suspended for fighting at the bar. Even though he was totally right to knock Ralph on his ass. But that's also partially why Ralph is even more angry at the hospital. Resulting in the shit show we're dealing with now. Hi Ingrid, bye Ingrid. Yup, yup. Okay, let's get through the angry crowd and uh, go to the high street. Oh, good girl. I'm so sorry. There you go this way. Yep. We might want to go right back. Yeah, good idea. I guess we're not allowed to go that way. We have to go the wrong way. The wrong, uh, around the long way. Is Ralph's car parked here? If you remember correctly, the magic set gives you more survivability against magic attacks, and it just so happens that the bosses primarily use magic attacks. So you'll be, yeah! That will definitely help. True, true. My neighbors are being loud. I hope it, my mic doesn't pick that up. The fact I can hear them through my door and my headset means they're talking quite loudly. Which I've been doing quite often lately. Slightly annoying. Meow. So we're just going to be zigzagging like this for a little bit till we get all the way down and then we'll go to the high street and go to where Carl lives. I and hope he doesn't put a silly hat on us again. It makes us tense. Being very silent currently. I don't trust it. This game has already given me a few jump scares and it's not even supposed to be scary. It's so weird. Mm. Still got a little while to go till the bakery, I'm thinking. Somewhere around here is where Mia lives. She's living on the good side of town. In the fancy houses. Whereas we have a homeless person living on my doorstep. That's uh, the store. Love how the doors open even though we're not allowed in anyways. Newspaper. Look, there's something about St. Ursula's in the newspaper. Life in an unhealthy healthcare system. Interesting conversations and exclusive insights. Read the fruitful three-page report in tomorrow's edition. Hmm. Oh god, don't tell me that Carl is gonna do has done an interview with the newspaper and is gonna This can't be good. Okay, let's see. And that's the flower store. 
of our friend Pina. It's a hairdresser, that's the gift shop or something or other. Laundry store, clothing store, bakery. So, this is store. Hello? Hey Carl, it's us. What's the password? Password? You didn't give us a password. Hmm, true. I guess that's one's on me. Can you let us in, please? It's pretty cold out here. Not without the password. Hold on, I just need a minute to think of one. Really? Okay, alright, I've got one. Password is mango. Keep it to yourselves, don't pass it on. Great, will you let us in now? Not until you give me the password. Mango. Hi. Oh, it's you guys. Very good, very good. Well, what are you standing around out there for? Come on in. It's way too cold outside. This is just... no. And then Finley came along. Mr. Arndus hasn't exactly confirmed that, but he said he remembers stacks of folders in a bright light. Hmm. What are you thinking, Carl? I think that all fits together. I use my involuntary vacation to do some thinking. I never liked this whole situation right from the start. First, though, I need to apologize to you, Finley. I was never quite sure if you'd been imagining things or not when you had your accident. But I can see now that you were onto something. So, what are our conclusions? We need to go deeper. Deeper? You know, I'm the longest serving member of staff at St. Ursula's after Ingrid. I do the rodas, manage our inventory, and put our orders together. What are you getting at? Well, you need to go to the hospital's document archive. That could be where we find the answers to what's going on here. You mean the big storeroom in the basement? Surely we can't just walk in there. Ah, the storeroom's always locked. Even I don't have access to it. But I have an idea on how we can get in there. It will require perfect teamwork, though. This is a delicate matter like an ornate glass figurine. We need to consider our every move carefully like chess grandmasters. Wow, you've really put some thought into this. Of course I have. So listen carefully. No, I'm not dancing again, Carl. I refuse. Old Glendower has all the keys to the building in his office. Including the key for the archive. That's the one we need to get. And how are we going to do that? Well, sometimes Gregor stays at the hospital late into the night. Seems like he got some kind of project he works on in his office after hours. I don't know what it is, but he sure puts a lot of time into it. And over the course of many my many night shifts, I've noticed something. At exactly 1am every night, he leaves his office and sets off to see Ingrid. Yes, that's it. Slowly, he sets out on his trusted path. I'm not proving, by the way, that's the game just doing that step by step, foot by foot. His mind never straying from his goal. Until he finally reaches Ingrid's desk. The two always spend a while chatting. Then Gregor grabs a coffee and heads back to his office. And you know what? When he goes on to his little walk, he never locks his office. That gives us the perfect window to get in there. Finley, you wait until Gregor leaves his office. Okay. Which is all the way over there. <laughs> We're going Mission Impossible. That's when you go in to look for the archive key. Sounds good, but he must have lots of keys. It'll take me a while to find the right one. No problem. That's where Mia and I come in. 
Word on the street says you're a talented actress, Mia. What? Me? Um... Why are they lowering me Mission Impossible style? <laughs> this game sometimes is so silly. Oh good god, Carl, no! Good evening, my dearies! What's with the disguise? <laughs> I'm on leave right now, right? It's best if I stay incognito while I'm at the hospital for now. I don't want any more trouble. Uh, okay. Good. Now, um, where was I? Ahem. Please pay no attention to me. I'm just an old fragile little granny. Just here to visit her little son. I suppose I'd better head up to his room. Oops. Well. Oh my. My head. Such pain. Oh. Don't worry, I'm coming. Dr. Mia. Fear not, I'm a competent junior doctor. I'm here to help this poor old lady. It looks like she took a bad fall, with no, uh, no outside interference whatsoever. Sister, if you get a costume, I want one too. After all, I'm playing the courageous doctor in shining armor. Alright, I guess. As I was saying, I rushed here right now to help this injured person. This looks bad. You there, with the broom. What, me? You look strong. I implore you, help me with this old lady. O what's with the amateur dramatics? No drama here, sir. This is serious. I need to make sure that this person has not sustained any more severe injuries. <laughs> Alright. And in the meantime, Finley can go through the office. Am I actually gonna be allowed to do that right now, or do we have to first walk all the way back to the hospital and then do all this? And then boom! The key is ours! The perfect plan. Now there's just one thing left to do. Head down to the basement and into the document archive. I didn't even get to look for the key. Just got to look silly and... Alright. But it is a good thing we don't have to do that all over again. So. We are going down the basement. All the way on the left there was the lab. So I'm guessing the archives are going to be on the right side. Good job, team! It's heist time! Oh, before we go in there, what exactly are we looking for? Yeah, I can't see that, Carl. Come down here. Wait a second. The door was already open. Okay, this is slightly annoying that I can't see what Carl is saying up there. I uh, know that's not just being cut off for you guys, it's it's also cut off for me. Maybe so, but it wasn't today. Maybe maybe you're right, Carl. Let's check it out. So somebody's already in there. Destroying evidence, maybe? Someone was in here recently. How do you know that? The layer of dust isn't as thick as usual. I haven't been here in ages, but something just feels different. Like someone's disturbed the energy of the room. Since when are you the mystical type? Hey, back off! I can't sense these things! You'd better take a look around. Maybe we'll find something unusual. Movies, archives like this are full of secrets and treasures. 
in real life, I guess they're full of boredom too. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Medical records, doctor's letters, studies, lab results. Some of these documents are older than my parents. There must be loads of thrilling stories stashed away down here. Stuff I can jump on to get higher. Yep. Look up here. And lay get down from there, you'll break your neck. We is right, we all know those boxes are out to get you. Yeah, and both bosses have skill that can drain your magic power. Oh that's that that's lovely if you need to use that to destroy them and then they drain it. How did you get up there anyways? Doesn't matter. Someone's taken some folders off these shelves. You can still see your print in the dust. And it's pretty obvious something's missing. What? Let me see. Yes. It's definitely not normal. I know it doesn't look like it, but there's actually a system in this archive. And something's clearly missing here. This empty space should be filled with at least seven years worth of receipts and bills. You're right, Carl. Why do you sound so surprised? I thought you'd be used to that by now. Do you think this means anything? I think it kind of does. What's really interesting is that all the missing files should belong to the same time period. They'll all be documents that would potentially be needed for communication with the health insurance companies. Those kinds of documents don't just disappear. But they may have been moved to another location because they're still needed. Like an old hospital bed on the fifth floor, for instance? That's gotta be it. There must be someone who knows about this. Dr. Theobald, maybe? I don't think so. He hasn't been seen in a while. Should we go to the police? Hmm. That's part the move is called black hole. <laughs> nice. There's someone outside. We need to get out of here quickly. Agree. Run, bitch. I also love how Carl and Finley both have this very normal looking outfit for when they go outside. And then you have Mia who's just looking like herself with a slightly different white coat. But still with a pen in her pocket and everything. What are you doing down here? Carl, is that you? Hi, oh, Sandra. We just stumbled on something big. Have you seen Dr. Theobald? We need to speak to him. Urgently. Boss? Haven't seen a whiff of him. I need to see Halil and pick up some blood results. It's not like there's anyone here who's actually meant to be working on our ward, but you'd better settle in anyway. That crowd outside? Way bigger now. I wouldn't be trying to head home right now if I were you. Not that I can think about clocking off. Too much to do. The words are all pretty much full. So come on, make yourself useful. Well, Sandra's right. Finley, we should lend a hand on the word. But what about the missing documents? I'm sure I can wait. We need to give Gregor his key back then help out upstairs. Okay, you're right. Can Carl go looking for those documents while we, you know, do our job? Seeing he is suspended anyways. So he's technically not allowed to help do his job. Um, I could use a little help here. How's Ingrid? Let's have a look. Well, the crowd's no longer outside. Down with St. Ursula's! Here comes another of those bunglers! Ralph, you crackpot! Just go home, okay? You can't just come in here like this. It's not allowed. Please, just let us do our job. The noise you're making is bad enough, but more importantly than that, you're blocking the main entrance. 
That means you're stopping us from admitting any more patients. Please, just leave. Bah. That's just a load of stupid excuses. Who's going to stop us? You? Patrick here has a terrible ailment. Exactly. Oh, the pain. That's enough! Not only did you cripple him for the rest of his life when he injured his arm years ago, that nasty little runt attacked us both just the other week. Patrick's still recovering to this day, and that's not even mentioning the psychological trauma we both suffered. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, my arm. See, we have every reason to be here, and every right to. We're not leaving until we get some answers. Get the chief physician out here, now! Hasn't Dr. Theobald come to speak to you already? He assured me that. Of course he hasn't. As if he would get his fat ass out of the comfy chair. They already tried calling the cops. The cops just didn't give it them, apparently. <laughs> Will you all just listen for one minute? If he's not going to come down here, we'll just have to take this to him. That's right. And you know what else? Let me through, damn it! Oh, quickly! Uh, what's going on? Renee, what's up? This person. They were just standing next to me in the crowd. Then all of a sudden they fainted. I just managed to stop them from hitting the ground. They don't look too good. We should take them to the ward. Typical. Always the same. The next poor soul for you to bleed dry. Can we lend a hand here? But uh, what about Dr. Theobald? I'll try and find out where he is. And I'll try to find out more about the missing documents too. We'll talk later. Alright. Let me through, you scumbags! Well, you're... You're literally the best enemy to just rush at them with your horns ahead and just... Bump everyone out of the way, Carl. The patient is in very poor condition. Uh -oh. I'm glad you brought him to us. Do you know what's wrong with him? I'll take care of this. Please, just give me some time. Mia, Finley, please look after the ward. There's a lot to do as ever. And this isn't helping. Sure, we'll take care of it. I want to help too. Good. Ask around the other words, see if anyone else can help out. Consider it done. Alright, our assignments for this evening, I think. Schedule updated. Alright, prescriptions and vet bandages. Don't you need any help here? What I need most of all is time. The best way for you to help me is to take care of the ward on your own. Forgive me if I can't monitor your work as closely as usual. You and me yeah, have been here a while now. Prove to me that I can trust you with our work. Aww, that's so wholesome. So we have P31, 32 and 33 that need our attention. Let's just start with the first one we come across, shall we? Which seems to be a black kitty cat. Hello there. How can we help you today? Greetings. And the same to you. You're struggling with inflammation after abdominal injury, right? Let's take a look then. Not so bad, but not great either. This is a textbook inflammation, but I can see you've had all the important vaccines. We need to cool the wound properly, and you'll need antibiotics to treat the infection. Got it. For now, I'll just keep as still as possible. Good idea, and get well soon. 
one down, two to go. And I have the sinking feeling that this hospital won't be standing upright anymore at the end of this game. Hello there, bear. I see you have a gastrointestinal infection. That's true. And you had a colonoscopy last night? Correct. There are probably better ways to spend your evenings, right? Uh, you're not wrong there. Alright, let me take a look. Uh, which one is this? Ah, okay, so. Plus the wind. So, we'll get crosses letting us know if any of these are correct. So, two of the symbols we got there are not on the right spot, but are part of the solution. I'm going to place the eye over here, the skull over here, and then a hunt. See what that does. So four of them are correct, and one of them isn't. Okay, so the hand is correct. I'm gonna guess those two are correct as well, and then one of these two. So the foot definitely not. So let's make the intestine there. I. Let's go. And uh, if <coughs> and Justin call. Blood. I'm utterly confused. So this is going to be the skull. Mm. Oh, not the foot. Not the tooth. Where is it the tooth? No, it is the tooth. That's going to be a B as well. Not great. But it's not horrible either. Hmm. No serious abnormalities were found during your colonoscopy. Your symptoms indicate a flu-like infection. That's good, because it's treatable, and it shouldn't trouble you for too long. But we need to get your electrolyte and water levels back up. And you need to make sure you drink plenty of fluids, preferably tea. Okay. Well, that was an easy fix. And let's go back to our old friend. But she's still in the hospital. Our liver should be doing better now though. Something... Something's not right here, is it? Honestly, I'm not sure. It sure feels that way. The protest still going on downstairs. It's got bigger even. Yes, I noticed. Um, we've had someone collapse on us too. One of the stuff? No. A protester just keeled over out of nowhere. Dr. Krakowski's diagnosing him now, but we don't know what's wrong with him yet. Hmm. 
You know, I've worked in health in the healthcare sector for decades. There have always been scandals, arguments, criticisms. Some time ago, a large number of hospitals came to the decision that would end up having huge ramifications. Healthcare was improving. People were healing and recovering faster. And in a very short time, the average length of the patient's hospital visits was halved. Accordingly, the hospitals decided to halve their numbers of nursing staff. But the workload remained the same. So, then came the overalls, the saving strategies, that kind of thing. We're still seeing the effects of that decision today. I also see the shortcomings here at St. Earth's Less 2. What I'm trying to say is... I know what you're going through. I'd like to think a look at your readings, if that's okay. Of course. Yay, another one of those uh, mastermind-like puzzles. Let's see if I can get it quicker this time around. So, foot's on the right place, and three of the others are here, or should be here. Let's put the skull here and the bone here and see what that does. Ooh. Oh! I guess we're putting the tooth there, and the bone there, and we should be all good, see? Here we go! Good. Hey, we got at least one A this time around. <sighs> one A and two Bs, so it's better than the day before. I'm also afraid to tell you this. What is it? It's all over for me. Nope, quite the opposite. Your readings have improved significantly. Hmm. I wasn't expecting that, I must admit. But that's all part of the profession too. Funny how things turn around sometimes. You should rest a little more. I think you'll be able to go back home soon. Your wish is my command. Oh, and one more thing. If I can help in any way, just say. I'd be glad to. It's really nice of you. But you're a patient here. The only thing you need to work on is getting healthy again. If you insist. <laughs> Finley is a smart doctor. Patients need to be patients and not working. Finley, can you give me a hand, please? Uh, I, I think so, yeah. What's going on? He's calling for me. Either Mia Krakowski. It's Mia, isn't it? I've just finished my assignments. That's music to my ears. Can I take a look? While we're looking after the ward on our own, we should compare results to keep each other on track. Yay, I gotta be with a smiley face again. That's pretty good, Finley. I don't think I can perform as well as you under stress. I've got to say. I'm a little overwhelmed right now. The <laughs> smartest. Yes, he's the smartest. All our bets are occupied. I can't keep up. We'll manage. I need to head up to the fourth floor for a few minutes. They're having trouble there too. Everyone's pitching in where they can right now. Can you take on a few more people? Sure, I'll hold the fort. Thanks, I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> good smartass, but still smartass. <laughs> ah, he's a good guy. Good evening. I'd like to... I'd like to start your treatment. Your colleague told me you'd give me an injection. Will it help with the pain? Let's hope so. With a little luck, you might be able to get some sleep. I feel like I'm going to die. Oh, so dramatic, and he probably just has the man flu. Oh. That was an easy find. There we go. Treatment complete. With an A. Okay, injection done. I hope it kicks in soon. I've never felt this bad in my life. We'll give you a full checkup as soon as we can. In the meantime, try and get some sleep. 
Please hurry. There's something really wrong with me. I know it. Yeah, you're being overly dramatic. That's what's wrong. Or maybe not. Room 301, we have two patients. Alright. Hello there. Good evening. I'd like to start your treatment. Everything hurts. Please do some. Ah, not one of these again. Jesus Christ, that one's impossible. That's another C on that one. <laughs> I have a feeling that there is a small bit of input delay there, which is slightly annoying. Thank you, I hope it isn't contagious. Or is it always so busy here? Don't worry about that, my colleague will be back to check on you again soon. Nah, it's always this busy. Though everybody seems to be claiming to do be dying, so, you know. Please, I can hardly breathe. Oh, this is one of the easier ones. So... I think we need one of those. We need at least one of those. Uh, we need four pills in total. So that one is to fix those two. And I need a second one of that. Then I put something back for him and he still uses Don't Stop Believing. I'm disappointed, ma'am. But hey, uh. <laughs> Stay a while and listen. <laughs> there you go. See, I listened, I put it back. <laughs> Okay, my colleague will be here in a moment to give you your new medication. Thank you. I don't want to die. We'll do everything we can to make sure you get well soon. I promise you that. So everybody in the hospital is thinking they're dying. Joy! Well. That's all our assignments done again. Let's go find Mia. There she is. Oh no, I'm sorry. The fourth floor is even fuller than here. All the beds are occupied. There was some talk about whether we could fit more beds in somewhere. And then there was an incident. An elderly lady collapsed. I had to lend a hand for a while. And I didn't know the place so well, so... It's alright. Take a deep breath. <gasps> Better? Better. How did it go here? I'm done with everything so far. Can I take a look? Sure. I knocked two of them out of the park and one I failed miserably. Because that one is just impossible. Everyone seems to be doing better. It's nice to know I can trust you with my tasks in case of an emergency. I'll try to return a favor soon. Thanks for taking over. But how do you feel? No problem. You're really tough. With all this running, I might as well quit the gym. I could really use some coffee right now. Let's do that then. Not at this time of day. I'm dead tired actually. Have you heard from Carl yet? Nope. Now you mention it. I've not spoken to him. Should we give him a call? Maybe he has some news for us? Good idea. Because yes, Carl should really, you know, let us know. And, well, that looks like he's not responding, lady. 
He's not picking up. Strange. I hope he's alright. Finley! Mia! Come quickly, please. The patient in room 302 is really sick. We can't stabilize him. Oh, good god. Well, here we go. Finley, Mia, quickly. Help me stabilize the patient. The cramps keep getting worse. The patient is unresponsive. And we need to... And he did. What? Dr. Krakowski, I... Be quiet. Sandra, take the disease details. The patient suffered from severe and irregular abdominal cramps. We noticed heavy gastrointestinal bleeding. Dr. Linwood advised against surgical treatment. The blood work needs to be evaluated immediately. We know the bleeding was caused by a bacterial infection. Everything else will become clear soon. Please, leave now. Is there anything we can do? Yes, there is. Please give me a little space and get some rest. Uh, don't you need a break? Not right now. This is an extreme case. I will consult Dr. Gautera and wait for the results from Dr. Halil. I need you fresh and well rested in the morning. If this patient fell sick without warning, others could too. Even if there's no indication of a direct risk of infection, please be prepared. We'll know more tomorrow. Did someone sabotage stuff? Well, I guess we're going home. Hi, Mike, you still here? Oh, doesn't do anything. I guess we're going to bed. Sleepy porcupine. But how are you doing, ma'am, by the way? Hope you're doing okay. Oh, what a night. Whatever. Time to get to the hospital. Did you already sleep? There's nobody here. It's like a ghost town. Everybody's at the hospital, aren't they? Can I take the bike? You're still here. Why hasn't anyone come to pick you up? Something tells me waiting at the bus stop won't work this time around. We can try though. It did work. So we're not in a dream sequence then? I'm guessing. What a new one in What was that for? Ambulance one, two, um uh... Ambulance is supposed to use the back entrance really. What's going on? Ingrid, what's going on? Finley, I really can't talk right now. We're getting overwhelmed. The boards are almost full. We've got more and more people coming in with the same symptoms. I'm trying to organize more beds. Make yourself useful and get to your ward. What did Ralph do that everybody is now all of a sudden sick? Because this feels like somebody is sabotaging the whole thing to make the hospital look even worse. But at the same time, hey, now people see that they need the hospital to stay. We have people in the hallways.
It's pretty crowded here. How was the night shift? Don't ask, don't ask. I'm pretty sure my bloodstream is like 80% coffee right now. Yeah, I also have a feeling people got poisoned. Nope, nope, break later. Things to do. No one's all to head to the break room. Dr. Krakowski's got something to tell us. Works for me. I was just gonna get myself another coffee anyway. Um, lady? No coffee for you! Hello? Good morning. I have a small announcement to make. You look tired, Dr. Krakowski. Did you even go home last night? Don't think caffeine's going to help. No, if her blood is already 8% coffee, then more coffee is not going to help. We know more about what we're dealing with now, but we still need some, still need some time. The bacteria is aggressive. We've been able to contain it to a certain extent. But some patients are still experiencing internal bleeding. But that's not what I called you here for. As you may have noticed, our wards are full. What's more, a few of our staff have also started falling ill. If more people are admitted as the day goes on, we will hit full capacity. What does that mean? It means that if we run out of space, we're going to have to turn people away. Uh, yes, I know. This is new for me too. But we have no choice. People are already being reallocated to other hospitals in the local area. But the nearest hospital is over an hour's drive away. We can no longer treat them here. I would ask you to take note of this information. We can't just send people back onto the streets. You know, some of these people might be seriously ill. We... Carl! Wait a minute, Dr. Krakowski! Carl! What are you doing here, Carl? Don't you know you're not currently authorized to be here? Yeah, yeah, blah, blah. Any idiot can see the hospitals bursting at the seams. So it seems, how else are to explain your presence? I can't just sit by and watch people croak. And I won't let you down just because of some stupid forced vacation. Who's going to stop me? Dr. Theobald's vanished into thin air. If he wants me thrown out, he can come up here and try it with his bare hands. Fair enough. And what's your plan? You think you can, to con you think you can to conjure up a second hospital with a wave of your magic wand? You think you can conjure up a second hospital with a wave of your magic? Some of these typos slash grammatical errors are so annoying. I don't need to. The ward on the fifth floor, Doctor Krakowski. We can get it running again. There's plenty of space up there, and most of the beds are still in place. That ward has been out of operation for years. What? So you'd rather send all those sick people back home? Very well. I won't claim I'm happy about this, but since you're already here, get the fifth floor ward up and running as fast as you can. I'll help Carl with that. I can't say I'm surprised to hear you volunteer, Finley. I'll go to the lab and see Dr. Halil. I hope he has good news. Mia, Sandra, I leave this ward in your hands. Are you up to that responsibility? Yes. Ain't no thing. Sandra, stop with the coffee. You've had enough. Good luck, everyone. Now get moving. Come on, Finley. Let's take a look at the ward upstairs. And that gives them a, a, an excuse to, you know, snoop around there. Also, I don't know why there was a skull on that notice board in the coffee break room. It's in the break room. It seems a bit odd. Oh, can't take the elevator. Okay, we'll take the stairs. Oh, right. Yeah, I, I don't know where Theobald is. It, it's very suspicious, at least. He just... I mean, there is stuff missing from the archives. And the head physician is missing. I mean, that does sound very, very, very suspicious, if you ask me. Oh, and the door is open now. Last time we went up here, the door was locked. A 
And there was a burst water pipe, which was flooding everything. Do you really think we can do this? Sure we can. There's a lot of junk lying around. We've got no electricity, but if we work together, we'll get the hang of it. Music is also very good. Well, this is the floor where our accident happened the first time around, and which also came with a little jump scare. So yes, I don't trust this floor. It doesn't have to hold together for years, just long enough for us to ride out this wave. I'll deal with the bedrooms. You take care of the corridors. We're not trying to win a prize for best interior design. Just clear enough space so we can get through. Understood. Alright. How, how do we go about this? Okay. Just press button and everything pulls. Did that also clear that door? Perfect. And this is where we had our accident. And everything went dark. It's as good as new. Why did we stop using this ward in the first place? It has a lovely rustic charm. Maybe it had something to do with all the mold? The discarded machinery? That thick layer of dust that's covering everything? Alright, alright. You've made your point. But the dust only moved in here later, you know? Okay, we've got almost everything we need. We're just missing the power. I might be able to help with that. I once administered emergency treatment to the junction box in surgery. Well, I'm afraid this ward doesn't have a junction box. When the others got refurbished, this one was just left to rot. I guess the breakers for this wards are down in the basement. That's where the main distributor is. I'll go downstairs and turn on the power then. Good, I'll get started filling up the beds and rooms. There's plenty of people waiting downstairs after all. And you can say that again, but how is he gonna get people upstairs if they can't walk up the stairs? Because if they're really sick, five floors of stairs to go up is... That's a lot. Oh, we go going uh, all the way down to the basement. There we go, and then... Well, on the fifth floor it doesn't, because fifth floor doesn't have any electricity, so now it's already on the stairs. So he would still need to be able to get people up the stairs of one floor, and if they're in a hospital bed, there ain't no way you're walking stairs with that thing. Uh, I'm getting the sense the breaker is on the other side. So yeah, the elevator wor would work for four floors, but unless I can fix the breakers and everything, elevated to the fifth won't work. That's it. If I carry on like this, I'll be able to qualify as a professional electrician soon. Now I need to get back upstairs. Carl's on his own up there. I'm already just leaving that thing up. I'm not even allowed to take the elevator. So rude of the game not allowing me to use the elevator. Oh! We found Theobald! Hold on, that's Dr. Theobald. What were you thinking? Have you any idea what's been going on around here? Yes, I know, of course. That's why I'm here. Just listen to me for a moment, please. I had to go. I couldn't stay here anymore. I take full responsibility. I always wanted the best for St. Ursula's, believe me. A few years ago, I was an appointed chief. I was appointed chief physician, but not without help. Roman Heydrich already held a lot of influence over the hospital, even back then. He offered me the position of chief physician as part of a restructuring. At the time, I thought it was the best way for me to actively help the hospital. I was still too young, I hadn't really earned the position. But I went along with it, and Roman supplanted my predecessor for me. We had big plan. Everything was great at first. But Roman put more and more pressure on me. He had interests of his own. He didn't even try to hide them from me. He kept coming to me with strange ideas. 
He wanted to take more and more money out of the hospital. When I refused, he started blackmailing me. I had to sign bills, purchase orders and other documents for him. Otherwise he would blow the cover on our agreement. And as chief physician, I would have taken the fall for everything. That's why I went along with it, for the good of the hospital. However, as we drew more and more public attention, Roman got cold feet. He took off and advised me to do the same. Sooner or later his scam would be uncovered. And well, here we are. But I couldn't leave the hospital in such a time of need. And yet you did! I will take responsibility for what I've done. I'm so sorry about everything. I never should have. Whack in the face. Good doctor to Krakowski. Pull yourself together. Look at yourself. I'm furious. I'd never have thought you were capable of such a thing. If you really care about us in St. Ursula's, then get a move on and help the staff. Now! We don't have time for all this whining. But I... Whack. <laughs> uh, Dr. Krakowski, what's going on here? Henry, what are you doing here? I thought you were on the fifth floor. No power. Oh, oh my lord, the power has gone out. Maybe we overloaded the grid. The hospital is running on emergency power. I'll speak to Gregor. We'll get this under control as quickly as possible. And I'll make sure that all the wards can continue working. Finley, please go to our ward. Check on me and the others. What about Carl? Carl is extremely experienced. He'll be fine without you for a few minutes. I'll be there in a minute. Got it. I think we just overloaded the grid by turning on the power on the fifth floor. But emergency power, so probably shouldn't take the elevator. But I love how she just whacks her boss in the face like, pull yourself together, man. Okay, let's see how Mia is doing. Mia, the power... Yeah, she hadn't noticed yet. Yes, I can see that. Or rather, I can't see a great deal of anything right now. Are you all alright here? Do you need a hand? Well, I'm all through. Sandra's got the ward under control. Where is Dr. Krakowski? He's checking all the wards have everything they need. Dr. Theobald's taking care of the power failure. Dr. Theobald? Did I hear that right? Yes, he's back. I just ran into him while he was explaining himself to Dr. Krakowski. He was, uh... Um... Uh, what's wrong? Can you smell that, Mia? What do you mean? It smells like smoke. The fifth floor! It's on fire! What? We just got the ward up and running. Everything was going great. Then there was this huge bang. Sparks flying everywhere. And all that old junk up there caught fire. We have to get out of here quickly. Where's Cahol? He's still upstairs. We're trying to get everyone out of there. Yeah, I'm going upstairs. I have to check on Carl. Can I come with you? You stay here. Make sure the wards have evacuated properly. I... Okay, I can do this. Renee, could you help me up, please? Sure thing. See you in a minute. Well, we're burning the hospital down. Maybe we shouldn't have turned the power on on the fifth floor. Just a small feeling I have. But I guess this might be uh, how Ralph gets what he wanted. No more hospital. Carl, where are you? You stupid sheep. Why you set everything on fire? Carl, are you there? Over here, quick, we need help. Pigeon to the rescue. The bed's stuck. Help me move it.
So, so, so where do they think they're going with the bed? Because you're not taking that down the elevator when there's a freaking fire going. And no, this is not looking good at all. I think we may just have burnt the whole hospital down. <laughs> It almost ended very badly. Thanks, Finley. What are we going to do now? We need to put out the fire. First, we have to get everyone out of here. There's a plan for things like this, and we need we evacuate everyone to the school gym hall. Then we stay there until the fire has been put out. We contact the other hospitals in the area and get people out to them as soon as possible. Until then, we keep going. So, get everyone out. Get everyone out can't use the elevators, so we'll need to carry people downstairs. Benjamin and I can mend the stairs. You go to the bottom of the stairs and take the beds as we pass them down. Dima and Archie will be waiting at the front entrance. Take the beds to the front of the building. What about the other wards? They'll all be doing the same thing. Do you think Dr. Krakowski and Mia will be okay? Yes, we'll help them in a minute. Thank goodness we haven't filled this ward up to capacity yet. Okay. Come on, there's no time to lose. I still say, by the way, that that little emergency exit sign there looks like it has a devil on it. I guess it's supposed to be some kind of... person, but yeah. I think I will... No time for chit chat. We have to save everyone. <sighs> that doesn't look too good. The whole building look, seems to be shaking. Okay, that's one bet. Uh, next up. No worries, ma'am or mister. Getting you out of here. That's two. Yeah, the doctors are just running outside, ignoring the people that are laying in the hallway. Seriously. I have a feeling we're getting slower. Yeah. Smoke inhalation and everything can't be healthy. Do we have everyone? Come on, Finley, you got this. Come on, little butter. Don't let these people die in here. Finley, you're still here. You need to leave. Take the next transport to the gym. The rest of the staff are already on their way. I'm sure your services will be needed there. Don't you think I should do another check of the hospital? We might have missed some people. I've been to a lot of the wards. I'll do one last round of the ground floor, then I'll be right behind you. I'll come with you. You've done well. Better than I could have done. I'll be alright. I'll just hold my stethoscope tight. Stethoscope tight. Go now, Finley. And thank you. He's gonna be sacrificing himself, isn't he? I love the effect of the, the fire over the whole screen. It's really well done.
Oh, here we are sitting in the ambulance. Falling asleep. Let's go inside and see uh, how many people are there. Ah, oh, Finley, there you are. We need all the help we can get right now. Come on, take care of the sick as best as you can. All right. I'll assign the teams and then I'll help out as well. Alright. What are you waiting for? Show me what you can do. Well, don't I need to have a patient I can help? There we go. Um, oh, this one wasn't too bad. This one again. Hey, I didn't get a C on this one for once. Yes, yes. One of these again. Those are fine. Not a person helped. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Yes, please. Watch. Uh... Oh, this is gonna be a combination of only these two puzzles. one. Let's see, this game is almost over now and I'm finally gonna get the hang of that puzzle. I hear not a beep beep beep. No you don't. That's another one of these. That's a flatliner. Finlay! Leave it! Dr. Krakowski, look at you're here! This patient's very sick. I she's beyond your help now. But can't you see? The woman's already dying. Oh I can't you can help me. I need you up front urgently. Please come with me quickly. Oh 
we just lost another patient. Oh, poor Finley. Well, I just got the achievement get through the night. Not sure if we're happy about that, though. Music went all set, too. Can't even jump. Oh, there are friends. All covered in, 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 in charcoal. No. Well, I guess Ralph got what he wanted. No more Saint Ursula's. Dedicated to the people who work in healthcare. No. And that's the end of Fall of Porcupine. <laughs> Not that he could have uh, continued working with, you know, their hospital life and burned down and everything. Oh, it's kind of sad. Bittersweet. Yes, yeah, your missus works in a care home. <laughs> Well, I'm hoping to start working in healthcare, but currently there's a big question mark after that. Whether or not that's gonna happen because of not having passed my internship. Due to focusing on some points so much that I got lost track of other things and yeah. It's not for lack of trying, definitely not. It's just, yeah. It sucks. And now I have to figure out what my next steps are gonna be. Grab a taser? Well, why would I grab a taser? <laughs> taser wing. Now, I'm currently um, waiting for a response from an office here, an organization, however you want to call it, company, that helps people uh, find uh, jobs to see what they can do to help me out, especially seeing at the end of last school year, I got mentioned they think I may have autism. So that would potentially put me on track to get some extra help in certain things, but that needs to grow through them. So I'm not sure if that means that I already need my diagnosis or if it's enough that I'm on the waitlist for that. Because the waitlists for those are insanely long. It's about two or three years of waiting before I know whether or not I uh, can get, well, what my diagnosis is going to be. But I don't have the luxury of just struggling for the next two, three years finding a job that might not fit me and then get fired and then get another job and so on and so on. I just want to find the right job for me. And for school, there's a possibility to come back later, like in a year or so, to try to do my internship anyways. And to finish, get my degree. Um, but for that, I would love to first work already in the field. Get some more experience and everything, and be able to work at my own pace on the things that I need to work at. To then go back to school a bit more comfort with a bit more confidence again to say I'm gonna do this internship and I'm gonna do it at the place I work at because that should technically be possible. So then I can just continue working, but part of those hours would count for my internship, and I would then get judged at the end of that as it having been my internship. 
so I really hope that's gonna be a possibility so I can still get my degree maybe in a year or so so right now I'm just sitting at home waiting and it's very very annoying very frustrating because I just want an answer which is why I think it's a good idea for me that I've started streaming again just to focus on something else and uh, I started making plushies slowly working on those and getting stuff in order so maybe I can start taking on commissions for that and not this weekend but weekend after it's Game Blast again Game Blast 24 Oh, that's a Dr. Theobald doll. Oh. oh, he died in the fire. No. Oh. Mm -hmm. A little bit of magic dust. But yeah, everything is a bit weird at the moment here for me. Um, I'll be fine. I'll find my way, so definitely not the issue. Like I said, it's not this weekend. Weekend after it's Game Blast, which is a charity stream weekend for Special Effect, which is a, cha a charity I really, really care about because of the work that they do trying to make gaming accessible to everyone by providing adapted controllers and, and, and other adaptations needed for wheelchair users and such so they can actually play loan them to those people not even asking them to pay for it so that is really really good because if you do need to pay for those setups yourself they're bloody expensive whereas now special effects give you the opportunity to loan them for the rest of your life and um, they actually adapt them for the people throughout their life as well if needed so if your disease progresses or your disability gets worse they'll come around and adapt it again for you which is just amazing if you ask me but it's only possible because of donations that are made to them so I'm very very stoked that we as Cloak and Dagger are gonna be participating again they is gonna be streaming I'll be streaming and Grunt is also looking into streaming at least three days even so uh, look for more info on that next coming days slash week so yeah, um, I haven't been going for that long, have, have I? No. Shall I see if I potentially have another game I can start up and uh, entertain you guys with? <laughs> I, got, I got some stuff installed. I also still have some demos from Steam Next Fest left that are apparently still available. Regarding having something to focus on, yes. Sometimes darkness can show you the light. Definitely true. And I know what I want to do, and that is a big difference from a couple of years ago when the whole shit went down with my own health, which caused me to have to quit my job that I had been doing for almost 10 years. I had no clue what to do now. Uh, right now, I'm... 100% focus on I still want to work in healthcare in some capacity working with people with disabilities helping them with potentially making gaming accessible to them as well and um, beside that I have been thinking about making plushies for the past year or so it's something I love doing but I can't keep making plushies just for me because I already have plenty and I still need to have some space in my own bed for myself. So it might actually be a good idea to uh, see if I can earn a little bit money on the side that way. But that is still uh, being worked on and looked into and stuff. So. But that's okay. I'm still looking at what the heck I want to get myself into for the next hour or so. Checking what games I've got installed. And after this I could do it a little bit of lightheartedness, but I have a feeling most of the stuff that I currently have installed is not. Um, unless I install that one real quick. 
that one being Cat Quest, which is a very, very adorable game, which I recently learned is going to get a third installment, and I'm so stoked about that, because the first two were just so much fun. I actually recently finished playing the first one again completely uh, in the past weekend. No, I don't have issues. Um, <laughs> Uh, no, I got a better idea. No, not that one. I thought I had a better idea, but I don't currently. Ah, uh, problem is I don't have all that much currently installed. I, I, I got this thing. Love do do. I really need to learn how to type again. Okay, so... This game, um... I I believe I actually won this one at some point from my good friend Robbie in one of his many, many giveaways. And it's called Minute of Islands. And it's supposed to be a puzzle platformer. It has this very cool art style, as you can already see. Um, which is a bit reminiscent of Sable, uh, which I did try streaming earlier. But my problem with Sable was that... Um, even though I enjoy playing it, as a streaming game, I wasn't finding the way to stream it properly, or I don't know how to say it exactly. So I decided after one stream to give up on that for now. Maybe I'll get back to it later. I'll definitely get back to it later on my own, but who knows, it might happen on stream at some point as well. Minute of Islands has a similar art style in a bit. It's very cartoony. Seriously, what's with me and going for games with serious themes? Content warning. Minute of Islands is a game that deals with complex themes such as trauma, anxiety, and destructive behavior towards oneself and others. The game also uses images and language which may be triggering or disturbing to some. Most journey is our story alone and not intended to be a universal depiction of people affected by these issues. So this is a game that needs a trigger warning, apparently. See if it's there we go. So, for anybody who's here, please be aware that this might be triggering to some. I really know how to pick them. Please do not quit the game, turn off or turn off the system while the save icon is showing, and the game is best played with headphones. Well, headphones are taken care of. But it's supposed to be a puzzle platformer, and I do like my puzzle games. Platformers are not always my strong suit. So let's see how much of a platformer it is. Four brothers. 
Saffron. Berger. Undeath. And Ofla. Bound mm -hmm. by eternal purpose. Oh, not glorious purpose. That's disappointing. Although I guess we can't all be burdened by glorious purpose. I do believe that to be the main character. And a girl named Mo. Yep. Hmm. That's some cool looking tech. And uh, that's a weird looking bunny kangaroo. Not sure what it is. Moore has learned to sleep under the hissing tubes and the ever humming chambers. The pumping cylinders give her comfort. The drumming of a job well done. Nothing Sounds like... startles mm -hmm. her more than silence. Here she is. There is no rest for the apprentice. Use arrows to move more around and use F to interact with objects in the environment in it. Oh wow, so it, this is really going old school. I really have to use my arrow. Use. Down here is not a good place to keep a pet. N yeah, I can see why not. It does look a bit uh, like a bad place to keep a, cat, keep a pet. Photographs. Many are of Mo's sister, Miri. So we have a sister. Keepsakes from the surface. Drawings, layouts, and blueprints. Rudimentary tools of most tinkering. You picked up the Omni Switch. Ooh. Hold S to draw the Omni Switch. It will always point to your next objectives like a compass and will give you access to machines of the giants. Explore the underground networks and investigate why the machines have fallen silent. And we have the only switch with us. An attempt to bring some life into this place. Well, your attempt is better than any one attempt that I've ever done. Plants don't survive here. Are we going biomechanical with the stuff here? That felt that sounded like squelching. Space to jump. Space and down. F to crawl through. Moore has done so much around here. Repaired and watched and built. But in this deathly silence, she is once more taunted by the one thing she will never be able to do. Those are foot. Their engineering feet. can be studied and replicated. But their strength, they selfishly keep. That's a hand and some feet. 
I think that's one of the giants. Despite all the wiring and the manufactured tubes, the engines are powered by physical force. So if the giant falls asleep, then nothing works. But the kind that no mere human could ever muster. Oh yeah, Mr. Giant. Saffron. He was always the weakest of the four. Oh, he was struggling to breathe. Even more can taste the stale air in her mouth. It seems the ventilation system isn't working properly. But nothing does without the engine. So I guess we need to fix whatever you need to f make sure the other three brothers are still functioning. That that sounds that's an odd way of saying check on them and see if they're still doing okay. Was there just It's been a long time since I've played a game with the arrow keys and not W A S D. It is feels so odd. Um, lady? Why aren't you jumping up there? Uh, now you are. But the art style is very interesting, but it also seems like they're going sort of biomechanical with stuff. But then in this very cartoonish style? This is odd. Without power, the observatory is not much use. Well, thanks for sending me here then. Use the Omni switch to reroute emergency power to the observatory. Mm. No power here. Yes. And then F. Okay. It hits Mo like a punch to the chest. It has Nothing all is working. four of them. They all broke at the same time. Failed at the same time. Something grave must have occurred. Expect the surface to investigate what made the ventilation system shut it down. But it just told us that the ventilation system doesn't work properly because of the engine not working, which isn't running because 
ventilation system isn't working properly. So... Uh, how are we supposed to fix it then? Or can we reroute power for that as well? Mm -hmm. We are gonna need to reroute power Without to get that. The air is too toxic to breathe. And just as more feared, the vents have all shut. The poison is kept out, but so is the oxygen. Safan is slowly suffocating, and the other three may have it worse. Great, so how we fix this shit? Nope. James seems to suggest to go up here. Keep pressing the F. That's a whale with four fins on the side, two on each side. That's a bit odd. Squelch. That seagull is looking a bit rough. Bald spot on his chest. of Ireland's a game by Studio Fisbin. Hi Seagull! Hi Seagull! Chapter 1, Safan, the island of Boan. Schwelch. It shows all three purifiers are down, as if more needed any confirmation beyond the spores in the air. This is on you, Safan. Mo grunts. Pray it is not too late for me to fix your mess. Okay. Restore three air purifiers located on the neighboring islands of Bella. And how do we get to? Oh, I, that, her uncle's proudest catch. A glimpse of the other islands not far from here. Let's see what's inside. More fish. And that's a lot of fish. This is where the smell was coming from. You sure it's not all the dead fish that you're smelling? At least the spores did not spoil the crustaceans. Can't go down that hole. There's nothing down there. Oh, outside is. So inside we just have a whole bunch of fish, fish corpses. Or fish. And that's where we came from, so let's go down here. A filthy chair with her uncle's behind print in it. <laughs> Yes, he spent a lot of time in that chair then. Mo never has been interested in fishing, sitting around, doing nothing. 
some parts of her uncle's extensive collection. That seagull is missing a leg. That, 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 that's not good, uh, Mr. Seagull. Can't go in that cave. They're also not sounding too great, to be fair. What's that? That's a the smell made it clear. It died a long time ago. And now, the spores are taking hold of whatever remains. A better fate than the fungus eating you alive. Wait, the, the spores in the air are of a fungus that could eat me alive? Um... Game? Can you not? That sounds like it would be rather problematic. I was about to say you can walk over its wool corpse, but no we can't. Liking the art style. Oh, we found a boat. This ship, this ship needs a quick recharge. Well, I guess we can do that with our thingy thing. Lock in, and then keep pressing F to crank it all up. Then go over here as the and then bump it into there. Oh, the game is walking for me. Okay. Squelch, squelch, squelch. Okay, that's pretty cool. Do not worry. I will fix your mess. And I will save our homes. More reassures herself. Squelch, squelch. Uh, well, yes, we're going to leave our island. Are you sure you want to start your journey and leave to the Isle of Vaughan? I had to, didn't I? I think I do. Game is making me doubt it when I press my Omni switch. But onwards, start your journey. Am I the only one who thinks it weird that the engine is on that side and we're going in that direction as well? Shouldn't that be the other way around? Eh. See, that makes more sense. More shudders. She knows going the forward. The fungus first poisoning the mind, then ever so slowly, consuming the body. How it will spoil the verdant soil and obscure the midday sun. Hmm. 
the music is making me happy, Izzy. Despite all of its dangers, Moore frequently inhales the poison. An occupational hazard, she calls it. A sacrifice others weren't willing to make. Um... Hello there, glowy fish. Coughs, a few eerie apparitions won't keep her from doing her job. After all, she is the bearer of the Omni Switch. That was a glowy fish. place before a great exodus now just a pile of broken things and abandoned ideas the island hosts the purifiers guarding Saffron's domain and not much else anymore Squelch, squelch, squelch. I love how her arms disappear every time she just walks around and doesn't need them. Zero out of twelve of something. Can't move on to shit. Well, no. Remember? The children used to all come here together. Miri, Moore, their friends, for the Seabury Jam, the Scarecrows, and the Rides. And then the Exodus happened. Okay, so the 0 out of 12 is now 1 out of 12, so that means memories. Locate and restart the first of the three air purifiers to eventually cleanse the place. Okay. There's more of those weird critters. Yeah, no, not a memory. The smell of sea berries fills her nostrils, or is it a scent lingering in her memories? Yeah, poison in the air takes some animal quicker than others. Aww. Poor bunnies getting poisoned as well. There's a switch over there, so I'm guessing that's why we're trying to get to. Hey. So we're trying to start up. Her 
your so uncle's estate. He should be inside, with the windows shut and doors locked. But the back door was open. There's no doors, even. Moore's heart skips a beat. Either the fungus got to him, or he is somewhere out there, fiddling with the purifiers himself. Let's go check his, uh, our uncle's house, right? At least the house isn't full of fish. Years of unopened letters, smoke, and relief. Oven is still warm and it smells of fresh bread. Someone left in a hurry. They forgot to turn the cooker off. And apparently we're not turning it off either. So many bottles, but just one seat. Family pictures, only a few with Mo in them. Her uncle's still waiting for his dog to come back. Aww. He misses his doggo. See if there's anything here. Well, he didn't die here. I guess that's a positive thought. <laughs> uh, that sounds a bit of a uh, dramatic. Her uncle's toolbox is missing. Hey, where are you? Moore remembers every one of these masks. The people who once wore them. The lingering memories of people. In one way or another. Now gone. Not a worry in the world. Cheers. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm not allowed to go there just yet. Oh, there's another dead bunny. Just rust and fish meats. Remember. Mole never understood the appeal of bones to decorate a tourist attraction. It's authentic, her uncle would say, but he'd always dodge the question of whether the bones were from a whale or another large creature. I can't go there. The other way up here. Oh, there isn't. But on the other side of the house, there was something. So I guess we're going back to the other side of the house. Really, somebody should turn that cooker off. Okay, so let's go up here then. Moore's uncle owned this place. He still somehow does. <laughs> Carnival One music! Was two coins. Back when money still meant something. Still smells of candy floss, popcorn, and frying pan. <laughs> what remains of the tasty slushies of her youth? Yeah, that doesn't look all that tasty anymore. Oh. Mo doesn't have a point to offer it. Okay. <laughs> uh, I guess that's the first purifier up there. The machine looks intact. 
It is resting, waiting for a spark. Okay. I really think they found an interesting way of doing the whole biomechanical stuff without it looking to machinery. I don't know how to say that properly. And then, for instance, Scorn is a game that my boyfriend streamed a while back. Uh, and that one is also very much biomechanical in every single way um, with how it has a lot of the things. Which is really cool. I really, really like that style as well. Mysterious Bloody Brown Pot. Very to see, very boy. A hit with the visitors. But here they've taken out basically all the dark and um, brown and copper colors, like the real mechanical colors. And yet it's still very much biomechanical. The way that. Everything is machine and nature combined. Which is what biomechanical basically is. Lock in with F and we'll keep pressing F to crank it up. Come on, purifier, do your job. some power into the purifier. Mo dares to take a deep breath. There we go. The air still tastes foul, but the acrid poison is mostly gone. Two more to go. I'll find the two remaining purifiers. So we're going back down. No, go back the way I wanted to go. As in, go through the house into the other side. It does seem to suggest I need to go to the other side of the aisle now. Nope. Very much suggests that. I love how they, one, give you a tool that allows you to use around the island to fix things and such. But it also is a way of knowing which way to go without having a map. Going in the right direction. Does it mean I can now actually go this way without it? Telling me no, I'll go the other way. Yep. There we go. Uh, well, the only way is down. This game is colorful, and yet at the same time, it's it's it, it's very much giving it off an eerie, dreary, crab vibe. ladder to get down and that one gives us a short step back to the boat but I think we're still going the other way yeah.
art direction of this game is really cool, and the soundscaping is really well done as well. So we somehow need to raise that door, I'm guessing? Or open it? That's gonna involve that machine, it looks like. He didn't want kids sneaking around, breaking things, or adults stealing things. But more was always welcome here. More was family. Oh, but maybe it will open from the inside. Find another way to get to the other side. Oh, that's right. Can you push the butt the other way? Because that seems more logical. Don't know why it just does. Oh, I do know why. And allow me to jump up there. Uh, not sure if I did get there. Yeah. I did. That allows me to go up, and then I can go up even further. There we go. That's another shortcut back, I'm guessing, for later on. There he is. You look like some kind of amoeba. More remembers the heat on her tongue and fingers. As she snuck a taste of the steaming sweet sour jam. <laughs> For weeks after, she'd carry a little teaspoon so she wouldn't have to wash her hands. There's still some of that stuff being sold here and everything. Oh, that bunny is laying next to its dead friend. These dead bunnies everywhere are kind of depressing, though. They really need to fix this air problem. The fungus has already taken too many victims today. Exactly. Most of them are bun buttons, and I, I like I like animals in general. Is that Uncle? Maybe they would have been protected inside their burrows. Maybe yeah. I don't know if it's glowy fishies. Can I please grab it? Grab the glowing fishy? There we go. More remembers the first time she saw the farmer singing a song as he lit a candle by this tree. She didn't understand what he meant until later. That things are only gone when they are forgotten. <laughs> well, that's true. I'm guessing we need to go up a little bit more, but that's not the way up there. The old man and his locks, protecting his property, <laughs> as if a crowd might wander once again. in the sour sense of the fermented berries. Deeply curious to know their mm -hmm. taste. Yep. So we do indeed are gonna need a key for that. But we were on our way up. So visit uncle. Oh. 
her uncle harpooned this one himself. Probably fake slide many of the artifacts on the aisles. Everyone needs a hobby. Big game fishing is her uncle's. Yeah, we saw that on Bowen. Everything was dead fish. The old wood groans, dreaming of past revolutions, resolute to be a solution once more, Windmills. before turning to dust. Windmills make my Dutch he heart happy. Yes, we Dutchies do like our windmills. Or at least that's what the stereotype says. Mm, not sure that's gonna work. A little bit further, please. Gonna have to try and pull this one until the ladder is interlocking with where we want it to be. Now once more. There we go. This is gonna lead us to Uncle? Maybe? First things first, let's open up this uh, shortcut back there. So we don't have to go all the way around again in case we fall or something. Don't know if there's any death possible in this game. The berry farmer sighs, exhausted from his struggle. Living things are his purview, not machines. So for all his troubles, all his striving to fix the machine, it simply bore no fruit. Oh. We can help, buddy. He will ask me to. Hello! You go. More frowns, her frustration growing. She warned him. Not to toy with the machines. Moore's uncle huffs, disappointed at his niece's movements. <laughs> For heaven's sake, was I meant to just watch as the poisonous dust slowly settled around my island? Yes. Yes, you should have. He was Stayed inside, stay safe. Stay inside stay. and wait for her to be done. His heroics were simply unneeded. Could have cost him his life. And that's something we don't want. I'm guessing because, you know, he's our uncle. S D and F F F F No. Oh. S D and then first do this and then F. Everything is responding the way that it should. Looks like the old man didn't touch anything. <laughs> <coughs> Find and restart the lost air purifying. Now, are you gonna keep your hands off the thing? Relief washes over her uncle at the sight of her success, feeling thankful. And a little ashamed, <laughs> he offers some seaberry wine as reconciliation. He hands over his key, a sign of his trust, and asks her to fetch them a bottle of his finest, the one tucked away in the shed. Yeah, because that's very important right now, that we can 
get a bottle of berry wine. Although the key is very handy, so thank you for that one. Because that means we can, one, unlock this one. Don't know if that's any use, but I'm going to do it anyway. So that's where we'll get the bottle, I'm guessing. Picked up a bottle of fine sea Maybe berry she's wine. being too harsh on her uncle. He is only trying to help, after all. Moore considers the bottle in her hands and spending a small moment with the farmer. But too many lives are in danger. Too many things are at stake. Oh. The glass will simply have to wait. I hope. We'll return to wine. <laughs> Interesting. What is also interesting is that her uncle is using the mask and everything to protect against the fungus. But for some reason, Mo doesn't need it or doesn't want to use it. It's part of her job, but still, wouldn't part of her job be also to, you know, survive everything? So it makes me think there's something special about her that makes it so that fungus doesn't get hold on her just yet. Or not as easily as it does on other people. Um, let's see where uh, you want us to go up either way. You look like virus. Moore used to keep little trinkets in this hole until the day she reached a little too far. Her uncle always laughs as he retells the story of the proudest fish he caught, the mole. Oh, so that gives us an elevator, okay. I first want to see if there's something else down here. At least there's not a memory. Moore's so we didn't join you for no reason. Where they both sit at low tide, eating her sister's catch of the day, grilled on the fire, and glazed with a tiny bit of the farmer's jam. The octopus was Moore's favorite, and Millie's too. The way it talks about Miri, I have a feeling that her sister might no longer be around. Which is kind of sad. This was once Moore's little spot, her quiet haven on Bever's shores, where Moore huh. could be herself and analyze the giants and their things as much as she desired. Skitter. More thinks of the day that she left Beva. It was bittersweet. Like burnt jam. <laughs> stuck to the pot. That's kind of cute. Don't know what it is, but you did it. Fat told me so. W what, Gunner? I, I did what now? 
Let's fit on about. What did I do now? What were you talking about with Sid? Also, hi Gunner. How are you? You doing okay? How have you been? And welcome to Minute of Isles, which has a very interesting art style and is all about doom and gloom, apparently. I'm okay-ish. Distracting myself mostly last couple of uh, months. No, weeks. Because of uh, school not having ended quite as much as uh, the way I had hoped. So I currently am um, I'm, I'm waiting for an answer how to proceed when it comes to looking for a job in the hopes to afterwards then still complete my application. But apart from that, I'm doing good. Streaming again, uh, not this weekend, but the weekend after we're gonna be streaming for Game Blast. So charity streams coming up, which I'm very excited about and organizing a little bit. And I'm I'm slowly building a bit of a works well, redoing my workspace and ordering stuff in hopes to start maybe com doing some more plushy making and maybe even do commissions for that. Nothing more can use. So yeah, it's a, it's a bit of both. On one end, I'm doing good. On the other end, I'm like, meh. Could be better. Uh, what if I try running at it and then jump? Yep, that always works, but there's nothing here. Really? I did all that trouble and there's nothing here. Maybe something I can do something with later. After I did all the purifying of the air here. Because all the yellow crap you're seeing floating about, it's not healthy. It makes people go insane, apparently. And that's the thing we need to get to to fix it. And apparently there was a path here, but yeah. Well, that one's uh, a bust. But apparently we do have elevators in this game, so... It's just a bit creaky and so on, sure. Not sure how trustworthy they are. And judging by the way she walked there, I'm... Rotten wood, creaks and hunger, seeking. Ready to devour. No, 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 no. Noises like that are never good. Oh, shortcut. Shortcuts back down are always a good thing. But for now, we're still going up. Trying to get to the thing we need fixing. Eh. That's a lot of the crap. I can take it, she whispers. I just need to keep moving. Yeah, so let me move, Not game. First time doing this. Gotta love when a game tells you I need to keep moving, but it doesn't allow you to move. <laughs> I'm 
just keeps stopping you from doing the thing that they tell you to do. I think we're hallucinating here. Because of all the yellow crap that we walked through. And that wood breaks too. Yeah, of course it is. That didn't quite go as planned. Guess I was not planning on falling down there. Violent coughs, a few eerie apparitions. She has been sent to these places before. Oh yeah, this this part is also hallucination. Okay. It's not that way. Okay. Yes, we're going the other way. She has trained herself to escape. She just has to remember the tune. Tune? Are we going to be starting with singing? Star jellyfish virus. The star jellyfish virus. I need to remember that. Platforming. So we're so good at that. There's the sea star. Now we need the jellyfish. And then the last one is the virus. No, we don't need you just yet. We need the jellyfish first. It's over there. Come on, jellyfish. Let me grab you. Jellyfish. And then the virus. It's a chest or chest, and there's a key above us. Music box key. Mm -hmm. ah, no, 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 no
god, I'm... Oh, hi there, fish. I know you're kind. You're a moonfish. Or at least based on the moonfish. I'm swimming with the fishies. I do like me some fishies. And they're alive at least. The fish gonna eat it. It's it's one of the giants. He's not looking too good. That looks like one of the four brothers. Who are the ones that run the machines and the machines make so that the air stays purified and such. He didn't look too good. I'm okay, she tells herself, but it feels more real than ever. Open the music box. That's very bright. Can we now get back to what we were doing and actually purify the air on the island? That'd be nice. Oh, hey there, Uncle. Someone is shouting. I'm okay, she replies. I'm okay. She lies. Oh, ladder. That's handy dandy. You want to get out of the pit? Letters are very handy. He is glad that he found her, and he laughs off his worry for now. But unvoiced irritation sticks in his throat. He knows she will downplay it. It is routine now. The arguments they have had on repeat about her hypocritical ways. How she doesn't wear a mask when she forces others to. That's what I was wondering about. He settles instead for just a few words of concern. Like others are all wearing masks and then she doesn't? That's going crazy according to her as part of her job. Be careful, he smiles. Please come back in one piece. And don't forget to see after your sister. She pretends to not hear him. <laughs> she doesn't want people worrying about her. No. <laughs> Let's get this purifier going. Yes. Lock in. Pressing the F. Pick it up. And then S and D to plug it in. Use the arrow keys to move that one there. And then F again. Pump in energy. I think it's just an innocent rock behind us. Not a monster. But the batteries won't last. It's time for Zafar to do his part. Hey. 
Uh, I'm not even allowed to jump over there. Let's go awaken the giant, and after that, I think that's going to be enough for today's stream. So we do still have two memories on this island, apparently. But I'm gonna try not to be my completionist uh, self all too much. Because then it's gonna take ages to finish. <laughs> I'll go looking for those uh, off screen at some point. Another shortcut back. Need to go back to the boat. Not back up here. Yeah, I should maybe just take the ladder that's over there and take that one down. This is shortcut back normally. Yeah, it was a shortcut back to there. Okay, never mind. Uh, further down then. Bit of a bit more speed in our power. Can't jump up there. Okay, but I can go up there. Sometimes the the where I can and cannot jump doesn't really make sense. At least not to me. Down here, I believe. Yes. Back down here. And then somewhere around here is our boat. So we can go back to. No. Where we came from in the first place, which was Bowen. And see if we can get Safan to do his job. Interesting though, we're going the same way as we did to go to Boan to go back to where we came up. Uh, 
from away from ball and we're taking the same way back. I think we're going right on the screen again to go back there. So we went all around the world. But yeah, after this, uh, if we can get some fun uh, back to work, that would be nice. And then I can take a break. Myself. Been life for over three hours now. So. There we go. Back to our own little island where we live. And where our uncle does all his fishing. So everything here is covered in dead fish. Yep. Well, that's squashing noises. <laughs> I see go. Seagulls all covered in blood. I don't know, but that doesn't seem all that healthy for the seagulls. But apparently, that's normal here. With the spores gone, the air is allowed back in, and so is she. I'm kind of happy Fett's not here because he's going to say weird shit about that hole. be bailed out back in here. Nope. Yes, I'm sure I want to go below. <laughs> we need to kick Safan as, as so he can uh, he goes back to work. Keep the ventilation system going and such. When they gave her the Omni switch, they honored and bound her. The human they chose as their apprentice. Now tasked to save them all. No, <laughs> oh, we're going down. And even though the air is breathable again, we do need to finish this area before we're allowed to go back out again, apparently. So let's kick some giant butt back into gear. Go to Savan. You're annoying. So we're going all the way back to where we started the game. I really love the look of this game. You! Go back to work! <laughs> Empty. 
empty. Somewhere deep in this labyrinth, the power lines are cut. Whoop! Somebody messed something up. This vein leads to the heart chamber. Power should flow through this capacitor, but it's not finding its way here. Our two lines don't seem to be pulsating. Find in closer to interruptions in the current. Well, let's stick up here first. Follow this line. through here Ooh. there's a memory here the brothers may be old but they are not immortal and neither are you what will be left of you when you're gone only dust and crumbling bones. Well, that's not nice to say. What will be left of you? Only dust and crumbling bones. It's kind of rude. This one is not. Right. Everything here seems okay. That one comes from behind there. So do I need to do the other one first then? Eventually. Another hole to crawl into. Oh, with another memory. What do you think will happen when you leave? Who will take your place? You are staying right here. On these forsaken rocks you call a home. Whose words are we listening to? Because I can't imagine that Mo being so decorative about herself. And she did pretend not to hear when he said when her uncle said something about her sister. Fuses blew out, of course. And how do we fix that? Now we need to push that to the other side.
I'm guessing this is a fuse. That goes right in here. That powers that one up again. my way out so that's why there is a way here and sometimes the jumping really doesn't want to work properly here Opened up, yeah, okay. Let's back up here. Did this, did, did open up this door. Good. So they definitely do want you to do these things in specific order. So the fusey thing is, so something tells me we're gonna find something down here, like memory or so. That has been the case every single time. Found another memory. Dude, this room doesn't look too good, though. A death sentence. That's what every plant brought down here will find. Things don't flower this deep underground. Oh. They wither. You can feel it yourself, can't you? That's all the memories here. In front, no more arms. The fact she can jump so well without arms is, is surprising. Now go fix the fuse. that on its spot as well. We should fix that. But does that then also fix the other issue?
Oh, that's possible. Did I get the whole cutscene again? That would have slightly annoyed me. Oh, buddy, here we go. All the way back. And this time, so fun. Should be able to wake up, I'm hoping. Lady, if I tell you to jump, can you please jump? Thank you. And if this does indeed do what I think it is going to do, that's going to be a nice ending for today's stream. The capacitor is now rerouting the power to the cardiac chamber. Sounds also squelchy when she walks around here. SD. In there. There we go. Safan is awake again. Safan is now powering the veil over these islands again. Visit Haima and awaken Bergon as well. Well, I am gonna go up above Earth again. Above uh, ground again. Uh, we have a nice view while we say goodbye. So, I need to go take a break. Today has been a kind of a weird day. Some frustrations here and there. Ordered some stuff for if I do indeed want to take commissions on the plushies. To the, and pay for them. To then get an email. Yeah, can we get your uh, this and that number? Which the page hadn't even asked me for when I ordered the boxes. So I told them like, yeah, but this is for private use. This is not like this is for a company or anything. So I don't have that type of number. I don't have those details, I, I, because, you know, private, can't have them. And your website never told me that I had to fill in that, that field to be able to order. And then I got a message back, oh, um, yeah, well, uh, we're going to change our website and uh, accounting will uh, make sure that you get your money back. It's okay. So I had to go look for somewhere else to order the things I had ordered for them, which was bloody annoying. But it should be okay now. But yeah, that is uh, that's the first bit of Minato Island that I just showed you guys. I'm very interesting in interested in seeing where uh, some of the trigger warnings that the game came up with at the start will start kicking in. Because um, they did say that the game uh, is about trauma and anxiety and, that kind of, and, and self harm and harm to others. Hence why I put trigger warning uh, in my thingies as well. So far, I haven't seen any of that yet, so that's actually a good thing. I think. But it's something I definitely am gonna be keeping in mind when I stream this next time. Because I think I will keep this one for the next couple of streams. Gonna try and go live again next week on Tuesday and Thursday. 
Then on Friday, Grunt from Cloak & Dagger is going to kick us off, most likely, with uh, the streams for Game Blast that will be running throughout the weekend. Uh, so also on Saturday and Sunday, I'll be doing at least two streams as well there. Day and night four is going to do a stream. Grunt is going to also be streaming on Saturday and Sunday, we already said. So I might hop in on voice with him during those as well to help him out where needed with maybe rating donations and all that stuff and explaining why we are doing what we are doing really looking forward to that because special effect has a special heart has a special place in my heart uh, because of all the good work that they do for the community of disabled gamers um, trying to make it possible for everybody that wants to game to actually be able to play the video games and as a gamer myself I really really enjoy that way of thinking like make it possible for anybody that wants to enjoy the hobby that we share because video games are a great way to escape from reality for a little bit um yeah sure it can be dangerous but i do believe that it's also a way of letting people just feel normal for once if they want to or some other games will actually help them potentially deal better with whatever ills them. There is so many games out there now over, about so many different topics and for different reasons that you play them as well. I personally also use them currently a bit as an escape from reality to just not think about stuff that troubles me in real life and I think that's a good thing to be able to do that. So the more people get to make that choice the better. So yeah, Special Effect is definitely an organization I will keep supporting whenever I can. So that's why we're participating with Game Blast again, because I'm not the only one that thinks that way within our group of friends. And I really, really appreciate that. With that said, I am gonna log off. I'm gonna quickly check if maybe one of our buddies is still alive. I thought I had seen... Yes, I do. Good friend of ours, Karana, is currently live. Um, so let's go say hi to him. I always forget if I need to put capitals or not. He is currently streaming Helldivers 2, which only recently came out and is actually already um, getting a lot of love all over the place. And... Uh, Let's go see what that is about. Make sure to say hi to him. And uh, that is me for today. Thank you all for being here with me. And uh, exploring the end of Fall of Porcupine with me and the start of Minute of, of Highlands. Really, really appreciate it. And hopefully see you guys next time. Stay safe out there. Take care of yourself. And bye-bye. Uh, Let's go raid Karana.